Well, Josh Bell is here for the Christmas holiday. Josh, good to see you. Good to be here. From Las Vegas Weekly to review some of the movies that are out there right now because a lot of people like to do that during the Christmas holidays, go see a movie. Absolutely. It's a really busy time at the movies this weekend. Tons of new stuff opening and, of course, Star Wars oh, still I dominating know. everything. Josh, somehow I've managed to avoid all of the spoilers so I can see Star oh, Wars. I can give them dad. all to you now if you want. Don't do that. <laughs> but what did you think of the movie? I enjoyed it. I think it's, uh, it's a really successful continuation of this franchise. Clearly, uh, the producers have thought a lot about what fans want to see, especially after these prequels that maybe not everyone liked. They were questionable. Um, yeah, they yeah. were definitely questionable. So uh, this movie really uh, hones in, I think, on what makes Star Wars enjoyable. It introduces some great new characters. Uh, Daisy Ridley and John Boyega, who play the new characters, do a really good job. And of course, it brings back a ton of nostalgia, maybe a little too much nostalgia at times. But overall, the balance is good. It's okay. exciting. It's entertaining. Several people, or many, many people, I think, have seen it multiple times already. Yeah. And uh, if you missed it, it's a good time to go see it this weekend. All right. So let's uh, move on, because so many people have seen Star yes. Wars. And let's talk about some other ones that are out there. Daddy's Home is uh, one of the big ones that are out this weekend. Yeah, it's probably the, the biggest release this weekend. It's uh, Mark, uh, Mark Wahlberg mm -hmm. and Will Ferrell comedy. They teamed up a few years ago for The Other Guys. And this time, it's more of a family thing. Uh, Will Ferrell is a stepdad. He's kind of insecure. He wants his stepkids to love him, but uh, their bad boy uh, father kind of breezes into town, played by Mark Wahlberg. And so there's this feud between these two guys for the love of their children uh, and uh, the woman who's in between them, played by Linda Cardellini. And it's just painfully, painfully unfunny. Really? Uh, it's, it's really I bad. I don't like Will Ferrell, so I try to keep my you know, <laughs> well, you definitely opinion like to this. myself. But, um, is it, it just seems like slapstick humor. It's, it's a lot of slapstick, and it's weird because it's sort of aimed at families, so it's got a lot of the broad slapstick, but it also has a lot of vulgar adult humor, so it, it doesn't seem like it really knows what kind of audience it's uh. going for. I think the chemistry that, that Farrell and Wahlberg showed in their previous collaboration doesn't really show up here, and this is just... I would not recommend seeing this. With so many other options this weekend, I would not recommend Especially this Especially probably sounds like not with the kids. Yeah. Okay, and then the other, uh, real quick, we only have 30 seconds, but Joy is getting a lot of hype as well. And that seems like a fairly um, inspiring movie. Uh, yeah, it's about Joy Mangano, an inventor who was behind the Miracle Mop and a bunch of other stuff. It's got a great performance from Jennifer Lawrence. I think this is actually probably the most appealing movie opening this weekend. Oh. Uh, it's kind of Do offbeat, but it tells, as you said, a sort of inspiring true story. It uh, does it in a entertaining and unconventional way and has some really good performances in it. And Jennifer Lawrence certainly has a big, big following these days. Yes. Josh, good to see you. Thanks for having Happy me. Happy holidays. You Merry too. Christmas if you celebrate. And we'll see you soon. Sounds good. All right. We're going to be right back here on Midday. Stay with us.